Welcome back and getting you some breaking news. These are exclusive details on the Jacqueline Fernandez case. First reaction from the actress team. CNN News 18 uh, spoke exclusively to Jacqueline's lawyer, Prashant Patil. Now he sees his client is being victimized. Listen into this conversation. First charge sheet has been filed. What is the first response as a legal team from the end of your client? See, we have not served with the copy of the charge sheet yet. Neither we have received any official communication from the enforcement director. We have only got to know this through the media reports. Today we were listed before the special PMLA court at Delhi for an application that we moved to seek travel abroad permission. The Honorable Judge was absent, that's why the matter is now listed on 31st of this month. Having said that, if the media reports are true that there is a charge sheet, so-called charge sheet filed against my client, if we look at the sequence of events of the entire matter, you will understand that what is this case? In this matter, there is a main accused who is sitting behind the bars and handing gloves with the Tihar jail officials. He cons few people. Now, the modus operandi is that this main accused, so-called, uses a modular phone technology sitting behind the bars and makes spoof calls wherein the victim believes that the call has been made by the Union Home Ministry. That is how certain people lost their money. One of the lady who is a owner of a leading pharmaceutical company, she lost almost 200 crores, and that's why Delhi police registered an offence. A charge sheet has been filed in that matter under MCOCA provisions. Now, if you look at the investigation by Delhi police, this modus operandi, the main accused has been operated through Thiyar jail, which even the complainant, the victim there, did not know that he's sitting behind the bars. If you take that logic to be true, then how come my client is an accused? Even she is a victim in this matter. She has been conned. It is clear disparity. It is malefied prosecution. Having said that, once I get the copy of the charge sheet, I will go through the evidence why only my client has been targeted. But if you look at the documents that the enforcement director has relied upon, all the witnesses that they are citing, all the witnesses in fact come to the rescue of my client saying she has been conned. Now, for example, there is a lady witness. There is a WhatsApp chat communication between my client, Jacqueline, and that lady witness. That WhatsApp chat clearly states, my client says, I am not going to accept these gifts, I don't even know him. And the lady witness says, no, you accept it when the man who meets my client at Chennai is a free man. I am not, as a common man, supposed to know that he is out on bail or he is not out on bail. He comes across, he introduced himself as a niece or nephew of a leading political leader from Tamil Nadu. He says that he is an owner of a particular TV news channel and projects himself as a leading business entrepreneur and gets introduced to my client as some other name, as Shankar Vela, and not as what you stated. If that is the case, how would she know that he's out on bail? It's only done to tarnish my client's image. They, she had no relationship with him whatsoever. He was chasing her, but however, like my client had no relationship with her. Ananya is with us on the broadcast. Ananya had that exclusive conversation with the lawyer of Jacqueline Fernandez. Ananya, uh, can you break it down for our viewers? What are the key arguments that the lawyer is putting forward as far as actress and her defense is concerned now that she's been made and accused in the supplementary charge sheet? Well, yes, uh, Anusha, remember that first of all, we'll take the viewers uh, through a background of this case. The second supplementary charge sheet was filed yesterday before Delhi's Patiala House Court, wherein uh, Jacqueline Fernandez has been named as an accused into this particular case. In the last two charge sheets that have been filed, that's the main charge sheet and the, uh, the supplementary charge sheet, Jacqueline was, uh, her statements were basically being cited and the, the list of gifts that she had received from Sukesh were cited. But this time, she has already been made and accused. Uh, the ED has alleged that she has enjoyed the proceeds of crime, the money and in fact uh, uh, various whatsapp chats have also been relied upon by the enforcement director now what is very very crucial when when we spoke to the lawyers of Jacqueline Fernandez is at uh, this point of time since the processes have not been issued they have not been supplied with the charge sheet so first reaction that comes in from their law legal team is that they will look into the evidence and they, they do not even have an official communication with regards to uh, the filing of this charge sheet and they got to know about it from the media reports. but what is very very crucial Anusha is that some somewhere or the other the legal team is trying to play a victim card when they they clearly say that they uh, she had no role to play but we've seen 
uh, how the pictures have been there uh, and and what kind of pictures were the, were those uh, between uh, Sukesh and Jacqueline and in fact in a, in the previous chat sheet also uh, a relationship was cited that they were into a relationship they wanted um, uh, they loved each other and uh, and and a lot okay. of revelations were also there with regards to this uh, particular issue and a long list of gifts that she had received from Sukesh Chandrasekhar which not only right. included um, expensive bags but also big uh, cars and in fact yeah. a horse which was a very very expensive horse was received from her so some yeah. somewhere or the other her lawyer is trying to play a victim card but then this is uh, how uh, they, they are trying to defend her but then we'll have okay. to wait and watch as to when the court issue processes issue summons to Jacqueline Fernandez on okay. the next date of hearing that is August 31 we'll see as to what happens Anusha. So usually what the enforcement directorate says are the charges made by the agency and the lawyer is going to put forward what the side of the client is. It's only a court of law that will determine is there evidence enough to say that Jacqueline was in some way involved in these money laundering charges and the scam that the enforcement directorate is alleging her to be. Getting you that exclusive conversation is my colleague Aranya. We are slipping into a short break. News and updates continue on the other side.